Ambassadors from ASEAN and other UN member nations commemorated the 50th anniversary of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. The momentous event held at the United Nations headquarters on First Avenue in New York was dubbed Peace is Beautiful. Percival Kunanan reports. Peace is Beautiful. A momentous event that was shared together between Japan, ASEAN, and other United Nations members through the initiative of permanent mission of Japan to the United Nations. In commemoration of the 50th anniversary of ASEAN, the fourth event of Peace East was held last Friday, August 25, 2017, at United Nations headquarters in New York. The event was filled with many attendees from different ASEAN regions headed by their permanent representatives to the United Nations with elegant national dresses with pride and honor. Ambassador Koro Besho of Japan recalled that Peace Ease was born from the plaster wall event held last December 2016 where UN officials, diplomats, and New York-based supporters for UN wrote on the wall the messages of peace in their modern languages in which the memories and the prayer for peace that engraved on the wall leave in the lasting impressions. He also emphasized that the peace is focuses on agriculture as a medium through which it will cap better count with the United Nations and its objectives. He also added that the permanent mission of Japan has collaborated in the Japanese artist living in New York who believe in the power of art to bridge difference and bring people together. I can rephrase it saying we can and must coexist and prosper in peace with flowers that we share. Professor Norita Kanoda of Ikenovo Society of Floral Art demonstrated an artistic performance of creating Ikebana. He showcased the elaborate art of floral arrangements to the audience that applauded deeply. Meanwhile, ASEAN ambassadors headed by the Japanese ambassador had a chance to create their own floral arrangement on the bamboo flower pots depicting solidarity peace and prosperity among the ASEAN region. The event has been more successful than I could ever have imagined. So I, uh, as you can see, uh, all of us were trying to create something beautiful, like the master. But actually, we were not sure what we were doing. But out of it all, when we stepped back, it all made sense. I think that is what the ASEAN-Japan uh, relationship needs. That we work together in a common cause, and if we step back afterwards, when it's done, you'll find out that it really works. This pieces event started as a sort of Japanese event, but now today we were able to get it together, Japan, ASEAN, and the 50th anniversary of ASEAN, 60 years of Japan in the United Nations, and how we see pieces. And it was beautiful Japanese ikebana flowers, plus music and dancing from ASEAN. So I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes, it was really wonderful, fantastic. Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, and Thailand showcase their regional dances and cultural performances after the Ikebana demonstration. The event concluded with a participatory workshop assisted by Ikenobo instructor in creating floral arrangement with respective themes such as harmony, homenaje, unity, and beautiful. So happy! I'm looking down, it's just so beautiful. And people came. People came from different regions, right? Guests from all over. We've got fantastic performances to express, you know, uh, solidarity not just uh, with the ASEAN, but really with what the UN stands for. It's international peace and security, about respect, about being one, one community of responsible nations for peace, security, and respect. Inside the United Nations headquarters in New York, Percival Banana, Eagle News.